Uh, my name is Tekken Gumba. I come from Cameroon. I am currently doing my uh, PhD at the Department of Information and Media Studies at Aarhus University. How is it like to be the first African student at uh, Media Science? I think it's it's a great honor for me. Uh, it's both a sense of subtle pride and also a sense of feeling a great challenge. I think uh, a great honor because it feels good to be recognized as the first African PhD student. Uh, a great uh, subtle pride because you know you carry a lot of responsibility also on you, and that's the challenge where you know what you do might be used to gauge other African students coming to the department. So it's a combination of this subtle pride and also this sense of challenge. The first remarkable. Uh, uh, thing one would note about the relationship between students and professors in Aarhus University is a very, very significant level of informality. Uh, for students who have studied for the most part of their life in a system similar to this, it might not be different. <clears throat> but for somebody like me who was coming from the University of Boya in Cameroon and also from uh, uh, broader parts in Africa, I think it's different to see this sense of informality. There's no sense of clear hierarchy between uh, uh, professors and students. You don't call them even professors, you call them by their names, uh, which, is, which is unique. I, I think so it's an informality which uh, I have always maintained should be cherished by the students but which must not be abused of course yeah mm. I think the administrative support in the university it's great uh, it's improving by the day at least compared to when I first came here in 2006 they have a dedicated uh, staff there who see into it that especially foreign students like me we now have uh, at, at least in the level of Faculty of Humanities the International Help Desk where what they do principally is they are there to cater for the needs and concerns of the international researchers who are studying in Aarhus University. They organize a lot of activities for us. They organize uh, get to know Aarhus uh, programs where they make you really feel at home, away from home. And then you could contact them if you have uh, practical problems uh, with regarding immigration, with regarding uh, how do you go about this in the university as well. So I think it's, it's a great support which uh, is in place for uh, foreign students students coming to Aarhus University in particular. I think if I can characterize Aarhus University in a few words, I think this is a great university uh, which has a multidisciplinary approach to higher education. It gives you an environment which lets you uh, explore the extent of your potentials and also it gives you almost this every facility you need to do your research and, and very few campuses do this and I, I really appreciate uh, this fact that Aarhus University has sort of distinguished itself from the lot in this regard. Do you have a, an advice f uh, to a future PhD students at the university? I think the first advice I will give and maybe the lone main advice I will give uh, future PhD students who intend to come to the university is that this is a great place and uh, uh, what they might need to come with is an open mind. That's the first thing. Uh, come with an open mind and then to also make sure that you come with both an open mind and a prepared mind to tap into the invaluable resources that you meet here, both human and material.